But let's bring in some analysis this morning with Nick Burmester, head of institutional sales at MF Global Australia. And he joins us from Sydney. Uh, Nick, I know you're not much of a beer drinker, but uh, what do you think about this battle for Fosters? What's it doing to the share price of boosting it higher from here? Yeah, this, I mean, this bid, Susan, has probably been one of the most awaited bids uh, in, uh, in our market for, for almost a decade when, you know, Heineken were speculated to be looking at them, at, you know, 10 years ago. Um, and since then, there's been, a, a, you know, a, a number of potential uh, parties uh, speculated to bid for Fosters. And the, de the demerger recently was really the, the, uh, the reason, probably, that this has happened now. And, and by demerging the beer business, they've effectively put this uh, business up for sale. So, uh, you know, it's definitely time for um, any of those, um, those speculated parties to, uh, to, to put their hand up and put their best foot forward. Yeah, let's talk about the share price reaction to that news from SAB Miller yesterday. We saw the stock ICC rallying 13% up again today. Nick, uh, I guess all expectations are that SAB Miller will come back to the table with a higher bid and possible other offers from uh, other brewers as well. Yeah, that, that's what is uh, the, the common view in the press, um, and I think that is right. Uh, where the shares are trading now it equates to about 13 times uh, EBITDA, um, which was about where the recent, or you know, uh, a year or so ago, uh, Kieran bid for Lion Nathan went through. So that's where they are now. SAB Miller have been pretty clear in their, in their statement that they want to work with the board towards a, an offer that can be put to shareholders. Um, and that they think they can turn the underperforming business around and, and that will really get hedge funds interested and existing shareholders in, in getting something and you know, putting pressure on the board to, to put something to them. Okay, but uh, you know, basically Foster is saying SAB Miller's $10 billion bid at a 9% premium at the time to uh, Foster's last closing price beforehand was too low in their view. It undervalues the company. So what kind of bid are we looking at? Yeah, it was a bit of a cheeky bid, you know, certainly not a knockout bid. It was around about 12 times EBITDA, so, you know, a discount to that the transaction I mentioned. Um, Foster's is the last remaining uh, large, you know, beer asset uh, in the world, and so, you know, it is scarce. It does have much bigger margins than offshore players, so you would think that, you know, that, that these guys who, who need, need growth, uh, your Modellos, uh, your SAB Millers, uh, maybe Asahi, um, you know, these guys can pay, um, you know, a premium to, to the uh, Lion Nathan bid by Kieran. So, you know, the press yeah. is certainly saying 550 is where it has to start at, and, and, and I'd agree with that. Yeah. Right, 550. Uh, well, Foster's trading at 521 uh, right now. Would, do you see any potential to possibly short this stock? You know, we've seen lots of offers come on the table, but uh, closing the deal is a different story. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, this, it is conditional um, on board approval. Uh, SAB don't want to go hostile. Um, it would be a hard company to, to bid for um, you know, in, in that manner. They also need FERB approval from the Treasurer, and he'll look at whether this is in the national interest. And there's, also, there's already been uh, statements by some uh, billionaires. You know, Dick Smith, a local uh, billionaire down here, has come out and said we shouldn't be selling it. There will be a lot of press against this. And it is a minority government, so you know there is risk that any bid uh, you know, could actually get rejected by the regulator. So you know there should be some discount to to uh, you know wherever this uh, you know this ends up for those reasons. Yeah, we just got some breaking news, uh, Nick, coming through for another Australian company. Qantas apparently has uh, halted its shares from trade in Sydney pending an announcement. Uh, of course, Qantas has been uh, basically having to suspend its flights because of the volcano ash coming from uh, Chile's volcano. Nick, uh, I'm going to turn it to you quickly. What do you think this might be? Well, uh, the, the, for, for Qantas, Qantas I think, um, I think that Qantas, it's going to make yeah. Yeah, I think they'll just be making a statement on the impact uh, of, of this ash cloud and the uncertainty. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people stuck up here uh, who can't get back to Melbourne. Um, a lot of people want to go to Perth. There's, uh, you know, and th there's significant disruptions to, to most flights at the moment. So I, I suspect it'll be a statement on that and maybe a, uh, you know, estimate of the profit impact, which is going to be significant given, you know, it's a substantial part of their business. All right, Nick, thanks for sharing your thoughts and your insights today. Always a pleasure.